Hi guys, this is Mark Rodriguez and I got a big question for you comic book fans out there. But first let me explain a bit of the backstory. If you guys have been reading comics, last year DC started the new 52, where all their comic books went back to number one. So even if, like, for example, Batman was like up to number 700 or something, it's back to number one. Now, in Batman's case, not much has changed. It's the same story. Like, the history is still kind of the same with the history of, like, a killing joke, um, a death in the family, all the different Robins throughout his, the history, like, that kind of stuff. Just that it's now been condensed into five years. So, yeah, all of Batman's history took place in five years. Okay. And other characters like Superboy, Supergirl, Wonder Woman and them have all new beginnings, all new origins. The Justice League got an all new story. Got to find out how they got together this time. And people like Power Girl, like, they're just completely different characters. I mean, it's the same character name, but it's not the same Power Girl you read before in 52. But anyways, in Detective Comics number one, the new version of course, Batman fought the Joker and threw him into Arkham. But it was all a plan of the Joker because this guy called the Dollmaker cut off the Joker's face. So now Joker's a killer without a face somewhere. He just vanished off the face of Gotham and the face is being kept in like the Gotham City Police Department place, you know? Now, there's no there's been um, no sign of the Joker for a while, and Batman's been busy with this um the Court of the Owls, so it was like a big twelve issue epic, and you know, other villains here and there. But now, in Batman Comics number 13, the Joker is back in this dangerous new storyline called Death of the Family. Not in the family, of the family. Because the Joker wants to go out and attack all the people. And this story's a big one. It's like, it's like a crossover event. So it happens in Batman Comics, in Batman and Robin, Detective Comics, um, Batgirl Comics, Nightwing Comics, the Teen Titans because Tim Drake's a member. So of course, gonna go after Tim Drake. And uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws, because again, Jason Todd is there, is going to go after him. And surprisingly, even in Catwoman comics, I don't know why, I don't know what the Joker has to do against Catwoman in particular, but that's how it is, you know? Now, the thing is, the, the question I'm trying to ask for now is, after all this stuff happens, after the Joker goes to this like how this deep into it they really want to basically rock the very foundation of Batman's family you know the Bat family in other words I mean I gotta say at the end of this issue he's about to attack Alfred so that's like that's fucking going far you know so I'm just asking I mean after the Joker does all this crap he's gonna attack you know um, Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, Jason Todd um, Barbara Gordon that's still suffering. I mean, she's just she's just getting over what happened to her, and Joker's back right there in her face, you know. And um, Catwoman, Commissioner Gordon, he's gonna attack Alfred for God's sakes. Come on, you know. After all of this sick shit and all the sick shit of before, you guys remember some of the past things. They've been kind of undone, but let's remember a death in the family where the Joker killed Jason Todd. And yes, I know, he got better, he's back in town, blah, blah, the fuck, blah, but it was still a big event back then. And you remember the kidding joke, the Joker shot and paralyzed Barbara Gordon, and in current comics, continuity, she's back as being Batgirl, but she's still, like, barely recovering from that trauma, you know? So my question is, after all this stuff, all the shit he did before, and all the shit he's gonna do now, should the Joker die at the end of Death of a Family? Now, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Well, first of all, yeah, Batman's not going to kill the Joker. We know that. I mean, he might come close. He might get pissed. He's not going to do it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Jason Todd kills his ass. I mean, he's got no problem killing people. Maybe he killed his ass. Maybe, like, the plan is so epic, like some bomb or something, that, like, it backfired. That the Joker himself died in it, you know? I don't know. But the thing is, should the Joker die at the end of this story? Because the story seems to be so epic and it's going to be so graphic and so much repercussions against Batman and, and all his people that, that work with him that it's like, can you really just throw him into Arkham like nothing happened? Can you just grab him and throw him into Arkham and wait till the next time he does something? I mean, I don't know. This story, they want to build it up as this super epic thing. It can't just be shoved under the rug or something. You know, it has to, something epic has to happen and it has to have some kind of dramatic ending. So anyways, I'm trying to say, I know what you guys are thinking, are you crazy? He can't kill the Joker, he's like the biggest, um, most, one of the most badass villains of all time, he's THE Batman villain, I mean, what the hell are you smoking, and all that crap, but I mean, okay, I'm not talking about killing him off, like, for real, like, as in, 
forever for good. I'm talking about kind of like those comic book deaths, you know, like kill them off, but leave them gone for a year or two, you know, don't make it, don't kill them off, and then in the last page, Joker comes out still winking or something, he's coming back. No, kind of like, I don't know, I, I just want to see him die, just to see how everyone's going to act. How's Batman going to react? How is Barbara Gore? How is Commissioner Gore? How are all those people going to react knowing that the sickest bastard ever of Gotham City is dead? You know, let them kind of, you know, go with it for a while. Let, let it go for a year or two, you know. Like, if Jason Todd kills the Joker, let, let, let them have that thing where on one side it's bad because, oh, he's a killer, oh, he's a murderer. But it's also like, well, I'm glad he killed the Joker because, you know, he deserves to die or whatever. It's, it's like a... You know, like, he's already kind of the black sheep of the Bat family. That could probably push him farther, at least in Batman's concern. Or what if Damien, what if Damien snaps and kills the Joker? What kind of repercussions is that going to have? You know, it's just, like, let the Joker die and see what happens. And then, you know, year or two or whatever, he'll come back. Because look at Batman. Batman died, right? Darkseid sent him back through time or whatever. And we still had Dick Grayson act as Batman for like, I don't know, a year or two. It was probably longer in, in real world time. It was probably just a year or so in comic book time. Or I don't know. It's been so compressed. Maybe it was just a month or something. I don't know. But still, we find out what happened. We have the awesome Batman and Robin Volume 1 series, and that's a good series. I recommend you buy that. that that's fun, because Dick Grayson is a lot of fun as Batman. But we got to see what happened. We didn't see Batman die, and then, like, wink, wink, he'll be back. I mean, no. I mean, yeah, we knew he was coming back, but we still had fun while he was gone. So, like, yeah, kill the Joker. Have him, I don't know, fall into stronger acid, or something blew up in his face, or, or Damien cracked his neck, but somehow Joker had something that years later will explain how he survived that. I don't know, but but do something epic. Kill his ass. Let's see what happens in aftermath of his death. I mean, is Hardy Quinn going to totally snap and become a new Joker or something? Like, is Damien going to be outed because he committed murder? Or Jason because he committed murder? Or, or is Batman just going to feel regretful? Like, oh my god, I should never have let these people enter my life because it's thanks to Joker. It's like they're so fucked up or whatever. I mean... I don't know what's going to happen. Is Commissioner Gordon going to like temporarily retire due to a mental breakdown? I don't know, but let us see what happens. But what about the other Gotham villains? They're going to be like, oh, snap, Robin killed Joker. Shit, I better be careful, man. They're, they're going crazy now, you know? Like, what's going to happen? What's the aftermath? What's the effect? Let us live through that. Let us go through a year or so of no Joker, of him being dead, and then bring them back in some other, you know, big epic story. I mean, hey, if you ever make a new Batman movie, a new reboot with the Joker, I mean, that's like the perfect timing for him to come back, you know, with the timing with the movie, new series, whatever. But that's just my thoughts. That's just my opinion. Like I said before, I don't mean a permanent death. I mean a he gets better kind of death. But still, let us explore what happens to these characters when they know that the sickest bastard ever has died. Now, I know Joker has died before. He dies at the, I know, spoiler alert, but he dies in um, the future The Batman um, Return of the Joker, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. We still see a flashback of how Joker died in that, you know, DC cartoon, Bruce Tim Canuti. In um, the Batman Arkham City game, we've seen the Joker die at the end and whatever. Uh, I think in Batman Returns, Dark Knight Returns or something, he snaps his own neck and Batman gets the blame and stuff like that. But it never happened in the real, official DC comics, you know, in cartoons or whatever, but not the real comics. So, Let's see what happens. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Is it too crazy? Is it like, like, what is Mark smoking? Kill the Joker? What? You know, you guys tell me your thoughts. Write your opinions below. I know lots of people are reading these brand new comics and lots of people are into the Joker. But the question is, should this be his last big crime at least for a while? And if not, what's going to happen at the end? What is Batman and his people going to do after the Joker fucks with them so horribly? Anyways. I'm Mark Rodriguez, and see you later.